But we do know of Greeks going into the mystery system, so obviously those particular people who went into the mystery system had to be black. You see? Had to be black. And so now we're talking about a person that's, we're talking about a person that's so vicious in the lies until they can fabricate anything. As a matter of fact, uh, as a matter of fact, I got, there's a book out. There's a book out called The Invention of Ancient Israel. Just came out about a couple of months ago. The Invention of Ancient Israel by Keith W. Whiteman. W-H-I-T-E-L-A-M. W-H-I-T-E-L-A-M. Keith W. What's that? Whiteman or Whitman? And it's called The Invention of Ancient Israel. And it shows how these Jews, basically, in so many words, literally, to this particular day, all they do, their whole life mission is to fabricate this lie that they are the original Jews. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and so if we deal with some empirical evidence on some things that's happened, I can even deal with my experience because there's a young brother that, 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 um, that, that, that had me to come speak at um, Indianapolis. And I'll be there next week with the brother. Because um, I spoke there twice. Uh, I spoke twice this year there. And... Um, a week, I think a day after I left, I left on a, on a Monday, that Tuesday, these Jews showed up at the local um, black, um, um, black history bookstore, you know, like the Shrine of the Black Madonna and places like that, and literally they went all around Indianapolis and they bought every book in the black bookstore of the African origin of the Jews, or the Hebrews. So they basically buy these particular books and make sure that the people in that particular area don't get them. You see what I'm saying? So, um, and I think the woman had to start putting some behind the counter because once they're on the shelf, it's against the law not to sell somebody something. Um, and so they will buy these particular books, just like the book, The, the Golden Age of the Moors. There is also, uh, we heard word of Iron Man Sertima selling the rights to the Golden Age of the Moors to the Jews. So what these cats will do is they will go in and they will literally, they'll say, oh, give them 10 million. Now you think that's a lot of money, but for the crack of Prince money, 10 million ain't shit. So they got a price for every black person in the world. They said, well, give them 40 million. You be like, damn, I think I can sell out for that much. But you don't understand, 40 million is like $40 for them. They really don't even operate on money no more. You see what I'm saying? And as we, when we get into the election, we will deal with that also, too. But they were going to say, give them 10 million. If you get, so the president got this little book. And he, you know, most of you, don't be, most people, anybody know about books, you don't make that much money on books, no way. You know what I'm saying? So they'll say, damn, ten million dollars, and they'll go and buy, give, sell the rights, and what those Jews will do, they'll sell it, so they can literally take some out of circulation forever. That's just like they can go and take whole words and literally take go in and say, well, we want to get rid of this word, and they can literally make a word extinct and take it all forever, just like the word chrysomelos, which is a chrysomelos, which is an ancient Egyptian Greco-Latin word, a chrysomelos, a chrysomelos, which means the black.